Hey guys, before we kick off the My Immortal reading, I think there's uh, something I want to show you really quick. Uh, I forgot to show this off uh, earlier. But uh, I have bought, I bought two new shirts. Uh, that is a Dr. Hooves and assistant shirt. And then I have one, I don't want to go get it right now. Um, I'll show it off uh, next episode. Or actually, I could. No, nah, I don't even know where it is right now. But, um, uh, it's a. It's one with Trixie on it that says, Have you seen this wizard? So, I wanted poster. Alright, so, now let's start off reading some Ma Immortal. Author's note Raven Fangs for Gelping Me Again. M. Suri Atak Erpostra of. Gerard, but dat guy is such a foking, foking six ball. Preps stop flamaging, flamaging. Vampire and I ran up the stairs looking for Dumbledore. We were so scared. Dumbledore, Dumbledore, we both yelled. Dumbledore came there. What is it that you want now, you despicable snobs? He asked angrily. Bolsomort has Draco. We shouted at the same time. He laughed in an evil voice. No, don't. We need to save Draco, we begged. No, he said mainly. I don't give a darn what, Voldem what Voldemort does to Draco. Not after how much he misbehaved in school, especially with you, Ebony. He said while he frowned, looking at me. Besides, I never liked him that much anyway. Then he walked away. Vampire started crying. I already read this. Yeah, I already read this, didn't I? Oh, well, I'll finish it. Vampire started started crying. My Draco, he moaned. Arthur's not. Don't you thick gay guys uh, lick so hot. <laughs> it's okay. I tried to tell him, but that didn't stop him. He started to cry tears of blood. Then he had a brainstorm. I had an idea. He had one. He lost it. He exclaimed. What? I asked him. You'll see, he said. He looked out his he took out his wand and did a spell. Ah, then suddenly we were in Voldemort Slayer. He could do that this whole time and he just thought of it. We ran we ran in with our wands out just as we heard a croon voice say, Allah Kadabra Allah Kadabra, who Akbar. It was Voldemort. Ab then he meant to say Avada Kadabra. Which is a spell from that. That was chapter 13. I don't know if I already read this. Okay, I didn't read any of that. Okay, so... This was weird. I just learned I didn't read any of this. I just read it... I've just read this so much. And deleted the recordings for so much that I've... I'm stupid. Um, in this, he's 16. Okay. And oh, yeah, I love you, will you? Sex with me, ass snake tail. I started laughing crudely. What the fuck? You torture my BF and then you expect me to fuck you? God, you're so fucked up. You fucking bastard. I said angrily. Then I stabbed him in the heart. Blood poured out of it like a fountain. No! He screamed. He started screaming and running away. Then he fell down and died. I burst into tears. Sadly, Snake Tail, what art, what art thou doing? Called Voldemort. Then he started coming. What? <laughs> That can be interpreted in a couple of ways. Um, we could hear his high heels clacking to us. He's wearing high heels. That's lovely. So we got on our, broomst our broomsticks and we flew to Hogwarts. We went to my room. Vampire went away. There I started crying. What's wrong, honey? Asked Draco, taking off his clothes so we could screw. He had a sex pack. Get it? Because he's so sex i I'm starting to get it. And a really huge you-know-what and everything. It's... <laughs> it's so unfair. I yielded. Why can't I just be ugly or plain like all the other girls and preps here except for B. Letty Merrick because she's not ugly or anything? Why would you want to be ugly? I don't like the preps anyway. They're all such fucking sluts. Answer Draco. <laughs> Yeah, but everyone is in love with me. Like Snape and Lupin took a video of me naked. Hargrid says he's in love with me. Vampire likes me. And now even Snake Tail is in, is in love with me. Isn't he dead? <laughs> I just want to be 
with you, okay, Draco? Why couldn't Satan make me less beautiful? I shouldn't, I shouted angrily. Author's note, don't worry, Anobi isn't a snob or anything, but a lot of people have told her she's pretty. Pretty, that's how you spot, I'm stupid. I'm good at too many things. Why can't I just be normal? It's a fucking curse. I shouted, and then I ran away, and then that's the last we'll ever hear of any of this. Oh, no, never mind. Stoop flaming, okay? BT dubs, who suck from now, from no on. Irvery, Tim, someone flams. He, in, me, flams me. I'm gonna slit my wrists. Fangs to Raven for help, for whole pine, whole pine. For the whole pine, there we go. Author's uh, note. Stoop flaming, okay? BT dubs, oh no, I already read that. Alright. Ebony, Ebony, shouted Drago sadly. No, please, come back. But I was too mad. Whatever. Now you can go have sex with Vampire, I shouted. I stormed into my room and closed my black door with the blood red key. It had a picture of Marilyn Manson on it. He looked so sexy in a way that reminded me of Draco and Vampire. I started to cry and weep. I took a razor and started to slit my wrists. I drank the blood all depressed. Then I looked at my black GC watch, G fuck. GC watch, and noticed it was time for to go to biology class. I put on a short, ripped black gothic dress that said "Anarchy" on the front in blood red letters, and was all ripped on the spiky belt in a spiky belt. Under that, I put on ripped black fishnets and boots that said Joel all over them with blood red letters. I put my ebony black hair out. Anyway, I went downstairs feeling all sad and depressed as usual. I did some advanced biology work. I started turning a bloody pentagram into a black guitar. I've read all this before! Suddenly, the guitar turned to Draco. Inobi, I love you, he shouted. Did I already read this? I swear I haven't read any of this. Uh, I was turning to Ebony, I love you. I don't care what those fucker preps and posers think. You're the most beautiful girl in the world. Because I met... Before I met you, I used to want to commit suicide all the time. Now I just want to fucking be with you. I fucking love you. Really? That's... Then he started singing "The Chronicles of Life and Death." We considered it our song now because we fell in love when Joel was singing it right in front of the entire class. His singing voice was so amazing and gothic and sexy, sexy with two X's, like cross between you. Didn't... Great. <laughs> right when I get it, you don't use it anymore. Like a cross between Gerard, Joel, Chester, Pierre, and Marilyn Manson. Don't you think those guys are so hot? If you do not, if you do not know who they are, get defu get defuk out odd her. Um, I said after he was finished. Some fucking preps stared at us, but I was stuck. But I stuck up my I just stuck up my middle fingers, that were con covered in black nail polish and were entwined with Draco's now. At them, at them. I love you. I said, and then was st and we started to kiss, just like Hillary Duff. I fucking hate that bitch. And CMM, in a Cinderella story. Then we went away holding hands. Lupin shouted at us, but he stopped because everyone was clapping. By now, by how sexy, we looked together. Then I saw a poster saying that MCR would have a concert in Hogsmeade. They spelled Hogsmeade wrong right then. We looked at each other all shocked and then we went together. And that's chapter 15.